بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لاسٹ ٹائم وی ڈسکس دی لیکریمل سسٹم اینڈ ڈرائی آئی ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس دی ایپی فورا If you know the anatomy of drainage system, you know that if the punctum, upper and lower punctum, they are not correctly positioned, then there would be continuous steering from the eye. This eversion of the lower or upper punctum can be as a result of ectropion. Ectropion is outward displacement of lid margin. Or and other cause is occlusion of the puncta that may be congenital or acquired occlusion of canaliculus can be present but usually it is not common in this picture you can see that both there is there is no eversion of lid margin but still there is tearing from the eye usually such type of kid are under the age of 1 year and they suffer from nasolacrimal duct blockage in the next slide you can see that a person has swelling on the medial side of the eye with the pus point on its upper margin if there is long standing obstruction whenever there is obstruction there is inflammation the pus can be collected under the skin over the area of lacrimal sac this disease is known as acute dacryocystitis it is inflammation of lacrimal sac it can be primary or secondary but usually it is secondary to chronic blockage congenital dacryocystitis is seen is newborn when there is failure of canalization of lower part of nasolacrimal duct and patient is usually present usual presentation age is within a month of birth with purulent discharge from the eye but usually such type of kids they gain normal potency of the lacrimal system within the first year of their age in 90 to 95% of cases they do not need much treatment except reassurance to the patient massaging over the area of lacrimal sac and if not resolved within one year of age then the surgical treatment of this disease is required here you can see the lacrimal probe an instrument that is vertically passed through the laso lacrimal duct via the punctum this procedure is known as lacrimal probing it is done in small kids under the age of 1 year so general anesthesia is required in the next diagram you can see that the probe through the punctum goes through the when placed in a right direction through the lower part of nasolacrimal duct so that we can achieve the patency in acute dacryocystitis the purulative inflammation of lacrimal sac is observed usually it is secondary to chronic dacryocystitis that is chronic blockage and pus formation the normal or usual or causative agents in such type of acute dacryocystitis is streptococcus and staphylococci and acute dacryocystitis is inflammation of lacrimal sac 
what is the usual course of this disease that the sac become filled with frank pus the inflammation spreads to the surrounding that is the facial bones lacrimal abscess is formed and usually on the skin it can burst below the medial palpebral ligament the pus drains out and inflammation subsides but during all this disease patient may suffer from continuous tearing severe pain and fever signs of acute dacryocytosis are that is swelling or redness over the skin on the medial side of nose and lids tenderness usually the patient suffer from fever conjunctiva is congested and chemosed If you press over the lacrimal sac, there is no tear regurgitation seen through the punctum. As there is inflammation or in an infection, the lymph nodes, preauricular and submandibular, they are involved, and there is lymph neuropathy. On palpation, if the patient allows, there is fluctuation is seen. That is sign of pus formation. if this decreases status is not treated then a patient may suffer from osteomyelitis of lacrimal bone that lacrimal bone inflammation starts internal lacrimal fistula is formed that after bone erosion through a constant infection and inflammation orbital cellulitis that is dangerous complication when the all the orbital contents of i are involved facial cellulitis that is inflammation spreads around the face and the facial swelling with fever and acute symptom is seen cavernous sinus thrombosis is rare but possible complication of untreated orbital cellulitis and secondary to acute dacryocystitis treatment is reassurance to the patient hot compresses and as you know that wherever is pus is formed due to stagnation you need to drain that pus under the cover of antibiotics these antibiotics usually given orally you will give topical antibiotics in the form of drops analgesic and anti inflammatory drugs they help to resolve the fever and swelling and then incision and drainage of the pus chronic dacryocystitis is usually secondary to long standing obstruction to the lacrimal drainage system usually it is secondary to obstruction of nasolacrimal duct it can be continuation of the congenital nasolacrimal duct obstruction or it may be acquired later on due to some pathology in nose like rhinitis or hypertrophic inferior turbinate secondary to deflected nasal septum or polyformation or in cases of chronic sinusitis causative agents are same except fungal infection like candida may also contribute in chronic dacryocystitis unlike acute dacryocystitis pathology is stagnation of the lacrimal sac contents which leads to formation of secondary bacterial inflammation infiltration of lymphocyte and plasma cells in the sac wall the epithelium multiplies to form the several layers and later the pus is formed and you can see the pus point on the skin upper margin of the skin of around the nose or medial side of eye usually these are females above 40 years and almost always it is secondary to nasolacrimal duct obstruction symptom is watering of the eye and signs are initial signs are persistent watering and conjunctival hyperemia with later on turn into mucosal stage when 
there is constant not only the persistent watering of the eye but also swelling at the medial canthus observed here you can see there is mild discharge on the medial side of the eye and slight upper lid swelling this is acute decrocystitis case with the pus formation tearing from the eye slight swelling of the upper lid and patient will suffer from fever and other signs of inflammation here is the you can see the involvement of the right lacrimal sac with the pus formation and globular swelling on below the medial palpebral ligament and on ct scan you can see there is a large mucosal which covers the whole area of the lacrimal drainage system right from lacrimal sac to nasolacrimal duct and it is a large mucosal how you will investigate for such cases that it needs x ray par paranasal sinuses you can send the patient to the ent for the ent examination so that they may rule out the other nasal pathologies like polyp which obstruct the inferior turbinate you can do radiological visualization by injecting a radio opaque dye in the upper and lower punctum general treatment is you give the antibiotic drops and ansets to the patient and usually it is not resolved with this general treatment and it such patient needs surgical treatment that is probing and syringing of nasolacrimal duct as we have seen in cases of small kids dcr is a procedure that is decreosisto rhinostomy that can be external or internal what we do in decreosisto rhinostomy dcr that we pass a tube from inferior and superior clavicles then we tie this tube inside the nose and we make an other drainage system for the drainage of the tears in the middle meters of patient in the external dcr you can see along the lower lid there is an incision mark and patient nasal cavity is packed is being packed with the help of small gauze so that there is no discharge and bleeding we remove this packing after one day after the surgery and stitch you can see on the over the area of the lacrimal sac these are removed after 7 days of operation nowadays endonasal or endoscopic dcr are also prevalent when it is not required that external wound is visible and we can do this endoscopic uh, endonasal dcr with the with the tube and cutter in the nasal cavity and there will be no external scar over the area of lacrimal sac in our ent department they are doing this procedure now your assignment is to write the difference between acute and chronic decreosystitis and what is dcr kindly go through these slides again and you can send your assignment on the number given in this slide on whatsapp thank you